another tutorial of the day. Today I want to give you some tips on how you can use your Microsoft Word to create a letter head. So just follow us as we do it step after step. All right, um, normally you are expected to open a new Microsoft Word document of which you have it here. So we are going to use some things to make it. All right, this is how we are going to do it. I want to use blue and red to do the combination. So just follow me. All right, I will just go to insert. You see shapes, draw a shape. I will get a rectangle to I'll draw it here. Shift it how you want it and draw it. So I will come to shape fill, change the color to red. Then I will duplicate this very one. I want to have double two of it. So I will duplicate it. So for you to duplicate it, there are two ways. You can press Ctrl D. When you click on the uh, object, you press Ctrl D. Or you press down the Ctrl button and click and drag. You see what happened? It duplicates. You leave it and leave the Ctrl button. So then you can change the shape color and to change it to blue so you see i have so looking at the the work closely the these are this closely you see that there is something like line so you can highlight the two of them by pressing down shift button and click the second one and come here click on the drop down and click on no outline you see that it's okay now so now i want to add the name of the establishment here so i'll still go to the insect tab i'll go to text box press on the click on the drop down here and come to draw a text box take it to where you want to write the name click and drag and start typing the name All right, I've written the name there. Now I want to increase the font of it. Select the text and come to Home tab. Get the text, the font style you want to use. I want to use Zurich and increase the fonts to any number you want to use. I want to use 24. You see it's hidden. I'll click and drag to make it show. Now, I don't want this white that is here. So I will come to format. When you, when you select on the text box, come to format. You see, no, you click on no fill and no shape outline. And you can change the font color here by going to the tab, by the home tab, and click on the drop down on that A and change it to white, you see. So now, I've gotten the name there. I want to now put the address. So I will just duplicate, I've shown you how to duplicate, press down control button and drag down, leave it. So I will now change my address. I'll put my address. So after typing, you find out that other text I'm typing is not there. So what I will do is I will click here and drag. And I will highlight the text 
and reduce the font to um, honor use 14. I'm okay with that 14. So I'll take it where I want it to be. Leave it there. Now, um, the other things I need to add things like um, the logo. So I'll come to insert, still go to text box, draw text box, where I want to fill the logo. I'll leave it there. Then I'll go back to insert after click, clicking on the box. Go to insert picture. To take you to locations where you have picture, but mine is in my hard drive. So I'll click on my hard drive, go to the folder. I have it, the logo. I have logo here. There are so many logo here, but I want to use our logo and I want a white color. So I'll select on it and it will come in. You see, so I need to remove this background a white color. So I'll click on the text box, go to format, I'll click on no fill and no outline. Our logo is there. Then I also need to put our contacts or I'll put our address. Um, so I'll copy this out. Um, okay, our address is already here. I want to put our other contacts, for example, I'll say our phone number. Our phone number, our email. So this is our phone number. This is our email. Mm, um, our websites. So I have it there. I still need to reduce the font to big. And I want to make it right alignment. So I'll highlight it and come here. Or I'll press Ctrl R. It will make it right alignment. And I want to also um, paragraphing. I'll come here. See what it does, it closes it up. So I will now put um, column for maybe date and our ref. So I will just, I will still duplicate this. I will still duplicate this and put the ref. Say dates. So I'll take it to where it's going to be so it can um, actually give us what we want. So you are press on tap, tap, tap for it to. So you see this? So I will also make something. I will copy this down, this new background down. Now to duplicate it, Control D, duplicate it. So I will take it down, I'll drag it down, drag it down how I want it to look like. I want to put our social media 
contact so you can contact us so i will copy this text box or duplicate it as the case may be i'll take it down 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 on top here now i want to insert look uh, icons so wherever you want to insert the icon you just click on it here and go to insert pictures you know the location where you put social media icons in your system so you just go to that location i'm going to my own location so that i can get that done so uh, where are my icons um, right here 